Hey guys, welcome to Herbie's Reef. We decided while we were making videos, we'd go ahead and do an update of this anemone queue. It is looking really good today, so we, we couldn't resist uh, going ahead and making another one. If, uh, it, it's, we have gradually been trying to get all the anemones out of the display because I, these things keep splitting and they move all over and they've been stinging my corals. So if I could, I'd get everyone out of there, but I haven't been able to do that yet. But we've got quite a few in here now. And uh, our favorite is this green one. We picked that up at a frag swap recently, and it it's just beautiful. It's got the stripes on it, and it sometimes will have kind of a purple tip color depending on the lighting. And it's just our favorite. It's my favorite. Um, and then the all these others came off the same mother column, <laughs> same mother anemone. It's a uh, they've got some green in the base, and then just a regular. I guess they're a rainbow. I don't know, a rainbow or a rose bubble tip. And then at the bottom here, we just recently got this rock flower anemone. It is tiny, but hopefully he'll grow soon. And that's our first one, but we hope to get several more of those. And then over on the right, we've got this. Uh, this is supposed to be a weeping willow leather. And it's not, it, the, I saw the mother colony and it was a uh, true reaping willow, but ours does not have as long of tentacles as that one did. I think just because it hadn't grown as much. So hopefully soon it'll have the, the really long tentacles. Um, and I think that's it. Our fish got these two long thin clowns and then we've got a yellow wrasse, which I'm told is too big for this tank, but he seems happy and he, we had problems with flatworms in this tank also, and he has just knocked out every single one of them. And then we've got the flame angel, which is also supposedly too big for this tank, but but she seems happy enough. So we're gonna keep her in here until she shows trouble, and if, if she ever looks unhappy, we'll put her in the main display. And then we've got some zoas on the back wall, and we're gonna let the green star go on the back wall. Oh, and Emily's telling me this is Curry. He's a clown goby. And I don't, you know, I hear horror stories of clown gobies causing issues with some coral, but he's not going to cause any trouble in this tank. So he lives in here and he usually likes to live in that toadstool leather. He's pretty happy in there. I think that's it. We, we do have a, a goby, a shrimp goby and a pistol shrimp in here, but, um, well, I guess you can see the that's a yellow watchman goby although ours is not really yellow we got it on live aquarius so we didn't see it in it, in it it in advance and it's more of a brown not a very pretty fish but it's entertaining to watch it with the uh pistol shrimp and i think that's it oh and we the uh, showing the mushroom emily this thing has stayed this size i don't know if we've got too much light on it or what it has looked like this from the day we put it in there but it is a super bright recordia it's our first try at a mushroom we'll see how it goes and i think we will pause it here and maybe go show you the frag tank after this okay here's the newer frag tank this is ultimately going to be full of lps we're going to put all the torches and stuff i want to have a backup colony of all our fancy tor torches in here and then we'll probably uh, sell some of those out of here also but for now i've put a bunch of test corals in here some of them don't look great like these duncans we just cut yesterday and a lot of them came off the bottom of the colony and they were on their way out because they were, were too shaded. So I actually think they may end up living, but they look bleached right now. But you can see the one head we cut off from the top is doing fine. And uh, then we have just some random zoas and pieces of that Monty from the other tank and some candy canes. And we tried our hand at cutting one of the cheap gonoporas that we have. Um, we ultimately want to cut some of the fancier gonoporas, but we're going to start with the cheap ones. Emily's trying to drop my phone. Anyway, we've got a few fish in here. The I know this tank is way too small for the blue tank. He was the size of a fingernail when we bought him, and we're just letting him grow a little bit before he goes in the big tank. So this is Skittles, and then the two clownfish are some storm clowns that we got, and when we got them, they were tiny. So they're still pretty small, but they've grown a lot. I have no idea what their names are. Emily, I think it's Tsunami and something else. I'll be in trouble for this later. Oh, and Tempest, I'm being told. Tsunami and Tempest. So that's the uh, whole frag tank family, and 
We've, we're running just a tiny Tunesy skimmer on it. It's been pretty stable for us, um, and I'm hopeful that soon we can start putting some Euphilia in here. We've got two Vortex for pumps, and then we're running uh, two Primes on it, two AI Primes. So far that's been plenty of lighting, and it's an all-in-one, so the sump is in the back. It needs a little bit of algae cleanup, but other than that, it's been doing really well. All right, I think that's it for now. Please like and subscribe. Bye.